every time you go out with your drone, you can get five really simple shots each time. Easy to perfect. Here we go. First tip, super simple. You're going to get it anyway because you've got to raise your drone when you start flying. So make sure you press record and as you're going up, if you can tilt the camera down as you're going up, that makes for a lovely introductory shot. It's also known as the jib shot. You grab your controller, it's going up anyway, and you just use the button at the back to lower it down, so it's going up and lowering down at the same time. So you're already going to get something a little bit different than the normal flying forward shot right from the beginning. Another good thing that you can do in post is obviously you can reverse that clip and it also makes for a great shot. As long as there are no birds flying backways or cars going in reverse. But many times if you're out in the open countryside and there's nothing too obvious, it can also make for a great establishing shot. The second one is the top down or the bird's eye view where you're just going along to the area perhaps that you want to shoot and you're just pointing the camera down ways. And it's that contrast really of getting nice colors, nice perspective, nice leading lines that make for some really interesting shots. Again, not going too fast and allowing it to go in and out of the scene in some sort of coherent fashion. I've also even used myself lying down and revealing it top down to introduce a video. If you agree, let me know. The third tip is simply side to side. So the first one is when you first start off, so you're going up. The second one is the bird's eye view when you're just going to the area. And the third one is from side to side. And this is a lovely shot too, especially if you bring something in from left to right or from right to left. And again, it's not just the boring forward shot. Fourth super easy shot is of course the orbit shot. Nowadays, you can basically do it automatically on all the drones. I don't suggest that. I do suggest that you practice doing it manually because I don't think we end up using the whole orbit nine times out of 10 just because it takes so long, unless of course you speed it up in post-production. So if you can just get that nice angle orbiting the area which you've gone to shoot, it's a basic shot, it's super easy, and it's well worth getting just makes it a little bit more interesting. Many times you've got a foreground and a background which also create lovely depth and that's really helpful too. Fifth shot of course is the easiest of them all and that is just to fly forward. Again some little tips to help you even with that simple shot is slow yourself down. You don't have to go very fast especially if you're lower to the ground. Just go nice and smooth and it will make for a lovely shot. Even better if you reveal something and that just makes it much more interesting to the viewer and stops it getting boring. We want to avoid boring shots at all costs. Flying forward to reveal something, it obviously makes things much more interesting. And if there's nothing really interesting at the beginning, you can even have it reveal yourself standing there and you see many YouTubers do this. There are so many more shots that we need to perfect and we need to learn. This video is all about five simple shots. And now I'm going to give you the five extra tips because you've stuck around to the end. Well, before I even get to that, if you've stayed this long, you obviously are interested in this type of content. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button. And do give me a comment. I believe that when you're out, shooting drone footage, getting these five quick shots make for really interesting post-production because then you've got five different angles to work with always. Those five you've got to do on every drone outing and you can do it naturally from the very spot that you start flying from. So first and foremost, first tip, remember to hit the record button button before you even take off and that way you get everything on film. Number two, put on an ND filter, leave it on and that way you avoid the skies and the clouds being blown out which makes for very amateurish looking footage. Third tip, subtle movements. Make each, each shot that you do 
at least five seconds so that you've something to work with in your editing afterwards. Another very good, very good tip is obviously make your shots 5, 10, 15, 20 feet from the ground. No Google Earth. No, if I want a shot that high up, I'll go to Google Earth. I don't need you to show it to me on a drone. So sometimes we're very enthused when we get our drones for the first time. We want to fly up as high as we can. Even if sometimes we're breaking regulation, don't be breaking any of your local drone laws. So you want to keep it low anyway, but high enough that people know it's a drone shot, if you know what I mean. Another tip, of course, is that subtle movement, that adjusting of the yaw. Thank you for tuning in to this video. Thank you very much. This is Patrick here. Oh, and check out my website where I've got all sorts of more free resources. I'll catch you again. Bye bye. Publish the. No, no good. Gets boring really fast. And we don't want boring videos now, do we? That you want to shot. So you're going along to the. Yeah, that you are there at all costs. At all costs? At all costs.